I'm going to the library early this morning because I have a podcast that I need to record. I literally put together the outline for this podcast last night. So this is the second to last episode of Disclaimers Aside for the entire season. I'm going to talk about it on the podcast, but I'm going to be taking a break throughout the month of December from recording. That's just going to be for me to like focus on finals, to um, go home for winter break and really just live in the moment and enjoy and like pre-record and prep for season two which is going to be launching in january soon inshallah which is so exciting it's crazy to think that this time last year i was prepping and starting disclaimers aside the first season the first year went by so quickly also tomorrow last year was the day that i met michelle obama you guys are a newer viewer and you haven't seen that vlog go check it out but last year i had like the most incredible opportunity to like fly to DC for a weekend and go on a 90 minute special on BET and meet Michelle Obama with a bunch of other college students. I got my one year memory yesterday that I was in DC. Crazy how much has changed in a year. easier maintaining a podcast in someone's house because even like the microphone we don't have microphones here that i know of at least so i have to bring my my own and then i have to go return it before i have class at 11. i finished recording the podcast it'll be out this weekend pretty quick turnaround time just because i haven't been the best at pre-recording my podcast episodes but we'll catch up i'm excited though because there's going to be new podcast art for the new season. You'll see it first on the podcast Instagram is where it's going to be. But I've been working with a graphic designer that I found on Instagram for the new podcast art. And I'm so excited. I love the current art, but I do want to change out the art like every year with every new season. So it's going to be similar, but like different art style for sure. Before I head to class, since I finished Confess, I think it's finally time to actually start. It starts with us by calling Uber. I definitely have low expectations because my friend said that it's really not that great. In general, I haven't really heard the best things about it. I have my politics of war class and then I have my French contemporary politics class. After class, I have some errands that I need to run. But other than that, my Tuesdays are pretty chill. It's my Wednesdays. My Wednesdays are, on the, insa are the insane days, like tomorrow. I'm gonna have meetings back to back to back. Walk into my French politics class and the tours are already starting. People are already touring Berkeley. It's actually so cute. I never toured Berkeley as a high school student, but I low key wish I had. Somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. Trader Joe's after class because tonight I'm going to a fam fam's giving. It's like a friend's giving but with fam. It's a potluck so I signed up to bring drinks because I live in a dorm so like what else am I gonna cook? I feel like that's the easiest. I was looking at the spreadsheet and it seemed like drinks needed to be brought. You can always count on me to bring the good drinks. 
I got these fun drinks from Trader Joe's. You guys need to try them. They're basically like sparkling juices and they have them in different flavors. They have them in strawberry and I also got watermelon, but they also have like other flavors like lemonade. I think they have peach, a whole array of flavors. So definitely check them out because they're really good. I have a few hours until the fam's giving. I want to edit my podcast for this week get that uploaded and ready to go and then change and probably head over. This week has been election week and it's been really interesting keeping up with elections because at home it's so easy because we have, you know, the cable TV running in the living room all day as the days go on to just like keep up with the races and things. But I've been having to like, to like frequently just Google election results on my laptop. Nothing beats the insanity and the circus of the 2020 election. That was honestly such a stressful and crazy week. I even did a whole video on it back in 2020 of me recapping it. The other day, I remember the fact that I fully just did like a 20 minute sit down video talking about the election because so much went down during that time. It's crazy how much has changed since then. But oddly, it feels like not much has changed. It's just like the world keeps on getting crazier and crazier. Interesting because I feel like there's this like weird misperception or there's th there's always been this trend of like people my age not voting. But I feel like people my age are becoming more politically informed these days and are actually voting. The other day, I heard a statistic that more people that are in the Gen Z age, more people that are 18 to 25 are actually voting in comparison to 10 years ago. And I find that really interesting. I definitely think that it is for sure, it can contribute to the rise of like social media and short form content because I think that makes like politics and what's going on in the world a lot more accessible and a lot more of a thing that feels like it is a part of our normal and everyday lives. Obviously the pandemic definitely shifted things. I think during the pandemic is when a lot of people became politically active and involved in what's going on. It wasn't the time that I started getting involved in politics or just paying attention to politics, but I know that is the case for a lot of people. And so it's really interesting just seeing people become more politically active at younger ages and I think it's a really cool time. Interestingly enough, I was actually featured in the Wall Street Journal's Snapchat show. I'll have the link to the actual episode. They just interviewed me on my thoughts on like the current midterm elections and like people specifically my age, whether or not I feel like they're getting politically involved in politics. And I definitely am err on the side of like, I feel like a lot of people my age these days are voting and just becoming more politically active. I've been having a chill morning. I slept in this morning, finished the new season of Love is Blind, and then I did some work, journaled. This is the fit. I think I'm gonna have to change because I'm going out and it is way too cold for this. This is like a, a SoCal winter outfit. Today, the Black Student Association is doing a free screening of Black Panther. I feel like most college Black Student Associations are doing something similar to this. They only have 200 seats and I heard a rumor that they're reserving like 50 seats for high school students and back. So I have no idea if I'm even gonna be able to get in to the theater today because I, I know we have more than 200 black students at Cal. I'm just banking on the fact that maybe people wanted to see Black Panther the day it came out and hopefully no one's coming and seeing it for like a second or third time because I really want to see it free. I really want to see it with the black community and so I'm gonna get there early. Like I'm not playing with colored people time today. Now it's 1.16. They told us to meet there at 2.45. I need to go have lunch before the movie starts. So I think I'm gonna pack all my stuff, pack a little tote, have lunch, and then maybe just like chill in downtown and read at a cafe or something before the movie starts. Cause I just wanna get there early to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Last night was so much fun. I, in a pure YouTuber moment, I forgot to vlog again at the Friendsgiving, but the food was so good. I usually do not like i'm not a huge fan of friend of thanksgiving food personally but the food was so good people can really cook i'm praying that i don't freeze today wish me luck things in berkeley have been politically really interesting if you guys don't know the gsis the graduate student instructors or tas at like other ucs have been going on strike because they're not paid enough for the living expenses 
and the labor that they're doing at their individual campuses. And so they're going on strike um, next week and they're actually withholding their labor. So that means a lot of sections and like lectures and definitely like the undergrads experiences are being impacted. But I think it's definitely something to really get informed about because they're not getting paid enough. They are being put under really challenging circumstances where they're being expected to do all this work and are not getting compensated for it, which is completely, completely unfair. So there's a lot going on in Berkeley and just UC wide. Um, at the different campuses they're all going on strike this has happened like a few times in the past at santa cruz it happened last fall and i heard about it happening a couple years prior and so it's definitely not something that is unfamiliar or that hasn't happened in the past i'm really hoping that they can come to a resolution the university can you know meet their demands and compensate them properly because these are students that are working so hard that are a core part of how the university is run and they provide a lot of labor for the university and a lot of work definitely, definitely if, especially if you're a student this is something you should be looking into and learning more about and seeing how you can kind of support your local gsis and tas but i thought i'd mention that because next week a lot of sections and things are being canceled and i know um a lot of professors are also just kind of adapting to the whole situation i'm currently getting ready to go to san francisco i'm meeting up with my cousin we're gonna meet at union square it's been such a long time since we've caught up and it is long overdue i'm so excited we're finally gonna meet up catch up have a good time and then i'm meeting up with sophia and noon we're gonna watch the movie holy spider i'm really excited it's an iranian film and they don't have it at like every single theater they have it at select theaters they have it playing tonight at this theater in san francisco at six we're gonna try and make it to the six o'clock showing sophia and noon are going to a protest a march for iran in san francisco they've been having marches like every single saturday i think they're gonna continue doing these like regularly every saturday so if you're in the san francisco area in the coming weeks definitely check it out see how you guys can support. I haven't been able to make it to any of the past few ones because I've had plans like every single Saturday, but hopefully I can catch like a future one. I was actually just editing this vlog. As much as I would love to be on the pre-filming grind, I'm I'm really not. Recently, I got one of the Fuji film cameras. I've been trying to take this around with me like whenever I go out and make sure I'm taking pictures because I wanna get them developed. I wanna, you know, document my college experience at Berkeley on film. Every time I see other people posting film, pictures i get so jealous in the past i've just had really bad experiences with the fuji film but i think i think it's because i was printing it through walmart and i swear that walmart has done me dirty so many times i used to get these regularly but every single time i would get my pictures developed they would come out black or like really saturated neon green it was just it was a weird experience and then also one time my film got lost for a month so i just had really bad experiences and that's why i stopped taking film pictures this time though we're gonna go to a more reputable place i am gonna try and get it developed at a different place other than walmart because i feel like i feel like that's what was going wrong this is what i'm wearing today this cardigan i thrifted from salvation army over the summer and it's really been coming in hand hijab is from veiled collection i'm actually wearing the magnets today you guys love these like magnet they're from Velt collection basically they're like magnetic pins that like hold your scarf together they're really nice for like the chiffon hijabs because i swear the chiffon scarves always fall i'm gonna throw on my puffer from h&m because that that puffer has really been getting me through the winter can finally pull up with this toe i'm gonna use my lolita toe today it's just been raining on and off constantly and so i haven't had the chance to use it i'm gonna also <laughs> I keep saying I'm gonna start, it starts with us. This time I'm actually gonna start on the bar. I didn't have time yesterday before the movie. Oh my God, I fully forgot to do a recap on Wakanda Forever. We need a chat. I had to change because I fully just spilled candle wax on my other cardigan and my scarf, so we love that. My thoughts on Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Black Panther 2. I watched it yesterday, it was so good. I'm gonna keep it spoiler free because I know by the time this comes out, it just came out and most of you probably haven't seen it. I loved it, I rated it a 10 out of 10. I need to post a review on my letterbox. Actually, I really need to catch up on there, but 
I loved the movie. It definitely had its flaws. I felt like the, the villain's backstory was tropey. That's what me and my friend were talking about yesterday after the movie. They used the same setup and the same trope to explain the villain backstory to kind of like present the villain as this like anti-hero and like the first time you do it the second time you do it the third time you didn't do it okay but after that it becomes repetitive other than that what can i say well it was so good it was so good definitely bring tissues to the theater because it is way more emotionally hard-hitting than you expect i don't know if you guys noticed but the scenes that they had chadwick boseman in like the flashback to T'Challa and like the scenes from the previous movie, they would always cut out the music and it would just be like a moment of silence and it was so sad. It was just such a beautiful movie. The soundtrack was so good. Soundtrack always slaps. Definitely make sure you sit till the end and watch the end credit scene because this was probably the most important end credit scene in all of Marvel. I feel like that end credit scene really wrapped things up, really brought it to like a full circle moment. Low key, I kind of guessed what the plot twist at the end was gonna be in that end credit scene. I just had a feeling, I had a feeling in the middle of the movie. I really liked it. I, I can't wait for the third one. I'm so excited. I felt like this was a really, really good sequel, but I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. Spoiler free for anyone who hasn't watched it yet. If you haven't, go watch it ASAP. I actually need to start going before I miss this part.